Fondo Mines was formed by the acquisition of two Chilean subsidiaries, which have been absorbed into Condor Blanco Mines Australia. These uh, two Chilean subsidiaries hold the projects in question in Chile. Uh, Ch the company was formed purely to take advantage and to explore for copper and gold in Chile and take advantage of the portfolio we have on hand. Over a five to six year period, Carl Swenson, a geologist and the director of the company, put the, these projects together along with the help of Jose Bahamondes, who is a, also a director of the company. And uh, they, they put the projects together and came, came, to, came to us where we raised some seed capital and followed through to an IPO earlier this year. The selection criteria for the projects was most important. The three main factors being that the projects were selected due to them being close to infrastructure, uh, all the projects being drill ready and walk up drill targets, and also uh, the projects having obvious anomalies which are visible. The results for Gold Iran were received recently and they are actually very encouraging. We have grades of 0.96% copper on the outline of the system. We will do, we definitely will follow up with uh, diamond drilling on this project, which will uh, commence after this summer period due to the fact that we will be targeting our projects at higher altitude at 4,000 metres over, over these summer months and come back to Gold Iran, which is at 2,000 metres once summer has finished. So during the summer months, we are now concentrating on drilling Carachapampa, number one, which is our number one project. That we are currently mobilising the drill rigs and we should be drilling by within the week. Uh, while we are drilling Carachapampa, we're looking at doing an IP survey which is some geophysics on Ya Isla, a neighbouring project. And when we're finished drilling on Carachapampa, we hope to move directly onto Ya Isla and begin drilling on Ya Isla. Both drilling programs coming up will be RC, reverse circulation, and we'll be going to depths of, say, 300 metres. Again, they are scout drilling programs, just like Goldie Ron was, to identify the mineralised system and then follow through with a more aggressive drilling campaign depending on the results. Also at the same time during the summer months we have a project Duratus which is in the Domeyeko belt. We're currently putting in access roads to that project and we'll follow up with some mapping and geophysics on that project to bring it to a dual ready uh, to bring it to a dual ready position hopefully by the end of this uh, exploration season. The results we're aiming for, uh, the target we're aiming for is something for this resource would be 10, 20, even up to 30 million ounces of gold equivalent. We have actually high grade silver and gold on the surface there. The initial program, like Gold Iran, is reverse circulation and we'll be drilling the outline of these anomalies and depending on the results we'll follow up with more drilling, diamond, actual diamond drilling going a lot deeper and trying to prove a resource. So we are looking at multi-million ounces style deposit and the grades could be, we have rock chip samples of say 8 grams a tonne gold, 32 grams a tonne silver on the surface and uh, we could hope for similar grades with the drilling.